In this tutorial, we're going to continue our development of the watch. What we want to do from here is come over here to solid and we're going to click on fill it. Let's click on these four edges. These four edges right here. And I'm going to just drag out this to be about 0.3 inches. And that's going to give us a bit of a curved profile here. And that's going to look uh, pretty good. Now the other thing that we might want to do is we, we might want to create some holes for the pins that go inside the arms. So the way to do that is we're going to come to our YZ plane and we're going to start a sketch. And I'm going to come over here to Tools, Section Analysis, and I'm going to click on the YZ plane. And that's going to cut my part right in half. So from here, I can create a circle. And I'm going to place that circle right here. This is going to be 30 thousandths of an inch. And I can dimension this circle from this corner point to the center in both directions. And I'm going to leave the dimension uh, where I find it. So I'm just going to kind of create uh, these, these two dimensions, uh, both in the um, horizontal and vertical directions. And with that created, I'm going to finish my sketch. And I'm going to come to Solid and then Extrude. And I'm going to extend this. And I don't need to extend it all the way through the arm. I just have to extend it uh, just far enough. And I want this to be a cut operation, but I want this to be symmetric. So I want it to cut through the other side as well. And so I'm just going to hit OK. And that's going to create my cut hole. So I can come back to Tools and I'm sorry, I can come back to Analysis right here and I can right click and delete that section. And so from here, what I want to do is I want to mirror my uh, cut. But the problem is that you can't mirror it because our uh, three planes are not on the center of our part, as you can see. Our, uh, our three planes are, are over here. So we need to create a plane. And the way that we can do that is we can create a plane that comes basically uh, through this axis. So what we want to do is we want to come to um, we want to come to our uh, plane at an angle, and we want to click on this line. And with that selected. If we rotate this, you can see that our axis rotates as well, but we want it to be at zero degrees. So we're going to hit OK. And that's going to create a plane for us, which you can see when I rotate this. So from here, with our uh, plane created, what we want to do is we want to mirror our feature. So we're going to come down to uh, Create, and we're going to come to Mirror. And what I want to do is I want to mirror a feature. And that feature is going to be this cut. And then for mirror plane, come here to select. And we're going to select this plane right here. And you're going to hit OK. And you're going to see that it's mirrored that feature to the other side. And that's great because that's what we want. So from here, um, what we want to do is we want to create our gasket as well as our lens. So let's click on this face and let's create a sketch. And what we want to do is click on this ring right here, this inner ring, as well as this outer ring. And you can hold shift on your keyboard to select both of those. And what we want to do is come to create and project sl slash include and just click on project. So just click on those two and hit OK. And then you can finish your sketch and then come to extrude, click on it 
on that little profile there. And we want to we want to extrude this up at a distance of, let's say, 10 thousandths. So 10 thousandths of an inch. And um, this is not a join. This is a new body. And hit OK. And as you can see, we've created a new body, but it's a little bit hard to detect. So we're going to come down to Bodies. And I'm going to select this and right click and come to Appearance. And I'm going to change the color of this to be black. So I'm going to just come down to... Um, Let's see here, paint, um, glossy, and I'm just gonna drag black onto here just to make it a little bit easier to see. That's gonna that's gonna be a little more advantageous to us. Okay, great. So uh, what we want to do from here is we want to continue our development of our lens. So from here, let's click on this plane and let's come to create sketch. And same thing as before, I'm going to come to Tools, click on Section Analysis, click on this plane. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, come to Tools, Section Analysis, and click on the new plane that we created. Our um, new plane 1. So you can find plane 1 under Construction. It's a Construction tab right here. That's the plane that we created before. So hit OK. And now we're looking at the part in the cross section, which is going to help us a lot. So what we want to do is we want to create a line, and that's going to that's going to be a line that starts here at this edge, and it's going to come all the way out to the center point here. And we're going to give this a little bit of a thickness here. And once that thickness is established, we can create an arc, a three-point arc, that starts at this point, and that which comes out to about here, and we can always edit this if necessary, but I want to click on these two points and I want to make them uh, vertical with each other. And I want to click on uh, this point here, and I want to set this right here on this um, axis. I want to project that axis and I want to make sure that, that these points are on top of each other. And if we want to, we can we can kind of change our our dimension here a little bit. If I want, I can drag this up. Um, I can also create a line that comes from this point out. And I can make this line and the original arc, I can make them tangent to each other. And that's going to help us kind of drag this um, where I want it to be. And we want to make sure that this point is here on the on this axis. So I want to click on this axis and click on the point and make them coincident with each other. Click on the axis, click on the point. Or you can just kind of drag it. And so what we want to do is we want to make sure that our profile is closed. So I want to make sure I'm in my sketch. That would be helpful. I'm going to come to line, click on this point, click on this point. And when it's fully closed, you can see that my whole profile is closed. And that, that's what we want. And so if I need to, I can manipulate this just a little bit more. Maybe I want to drag this up a little bit and bring it to about there. Um, we're gonna leave it at that. And what I can do from here is I can come to Revolve, and I'm, for Profile, I'm gonna select this profile, and for Axis, I'm gonna select this axis. And I want it to be a new body that's rotated 360 degrees. And I think the the issue is that my sketch is a little bit over the axis line, so we, we need to move it back a little bit. So I'm going to come back to my sketch, and you know the these are issues that happen. Um, you, as you just saw, I got an error message, so I need to go back and, and fix my sketch. That's something that, that happens from time to time. It's just important to realize why it's happening so that you can go back and fix it and that you're not... Um, 
you know, confused for too long or banging your head against the wall trying to figure out what the problem is. So um, I've identified the problem as that my sketch is past my axis of revolution, which would mean that my part would intersect during a revolution. So I'm going to click on the origin and I'm going to click on this point and I'm going to make them vertical with each other. And now if I try to do that again, if I try to create my revolution, you're going to see that it's created because there's no self-intersection. So this is a new body. And if I'd like, I can come back to tools. I'm sorry, I can come back to analysis and I can right click and delete my analysis. And I can click on my body three here and come to appearance. And what I wanna do is I wanna make this a glass and I wanna make this a smooth glass that's clear. So I'm gonna come over here and drag this. And you can see that I could actually see right through it. Now you can change this to gray and that, that also gives it a really nice look to it. So you can see we have that, that kind of glass lens and that's, a, that's going to be the, the sort of glass um, lens of our watch there. 